This morning after the blast last night, uh, Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan have very clearly blamed this blast on a group of Syrian fighters called the YPG, which they tie very closely to the PKK or the Kurdistan Workers' Party, which is a terrorist group both in Turkey but also recognized by the U.S. and the EU as a terrorist group. What's going on for the last three or four weeks is that Turkey has been demanding that the U.S. stop its support for the YPG in northern Syria. The Americans have declined. They don't believe that there's any connections between the YPG and the PKK, or if there are any links, they're not strong enough to give up their strongest ally in the fight against ISIS. For Turkey, this is unacceptable. Their Kurdish uh, nemesis, if you want to call them that, are getting more and more powerful just south of their border. And by blaming this attack on them, they're able to, they promise that they're going to try and put together a significant amount of evidence to try and reconvince the West that the YPG is a bad partner in the fight against ISIS or in any form whatsoever. For Turkish policy going forward, a lot will depend on whether or not they're able to convince their Western allies that the YPG, which is the Syrian Kurdish uh, fighters in northern Syria, are a bad ally for the West. Late last night, they were bombing uh, positions in uh, northern Iraq that they claimed belonged to the PKK. And for at least a few days now, they've been bombing and shelling positions in northwest Syria, where the YPG has been trying to make some advances. Um, there's been a lot of speculation about whether or not Turkey would consider ground troops into Syria to try and extinguish this terrorist threat that they claim threatens Turkish security. But the Turkish officials that we've spoken to have made it very clear they would only do so under a coalition that included the United States. And so far, the United States has shown no inclination to go forward doing this. So the predictions so far are increased shelling and a lot of international pressure to try and break up coalition support for the YPG.